Yeah, he's sitting service, unfortunately, right, guys? So you want to make sure that you have your people on the call so they can all learn. So, guys, so I'm going to go through um, our presentation, right? I'm going to go through the presentation guys, and how I transition right into, you know, the, the, every single presentation, number one, Tessie, should be a recruiting presentation, right? I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to show you guys how I transition from, to, from IBA to LifeBap on the same appointment, right, guys? Guys, understand that we live in a microwave society. We live in a society where people want things right now. Right. We're in a society where people really don't want to wait for things, especially when it comes to an opportunity. A lot of times in life, guys, the best thing, the, the things that you exit, the best things you do in life are the things that you do quickly. A lot of times in life, when you uh, most people, when they say, I'm going to think about something. Right. Travanisha, Travanisha. Right. When we think about things, most of the time we think ourselves out of doing it. Most people, when you say you're going to think about something, you're not thinking yourself into doing it, Erica. You're thinking yourself out of doing it, right? And we don't want to admit that, but that's just how life works, right? We're thinking ourselves uh, out of doing it. You guys follow me? You guys good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Can, can everybody hear me? I'm doing this from my uh, home. Yeah, ladies, we good. Yeah, we're hearing you. You're good. Yeah, for sure. you guys, you guys know I, I love feedback. Right, guys, you guys know I love feedback. I want to make sure you guys are on here. Right? So I'm gonna go through um how I go through my presentation, right, guys. And again, following your upline, listen to your upline. There's no such thing as junior RVPs. You guys follow me? But I truly believe that the one thing that every RVP on here would agree with is that you should be doing a recruiting presentations, right? Right. <clears throat> recruiting presentation right um and i believe guys that if you and so i want to give you some rule of thumbs before i get started right um every presentation should be recruiting presentation number one right i truly believe that if you're sitting down with someone with children whether they're single with kids or married with kids right you should go for the iba go to recruit them frank three times right you should go for the iba three times <clears throat> because i was working on one of our, our teammates yesterday who i believe that they can be a, a vice president and they were saying, yeah, you know, I attempt to, you know, hard close the IBA so much, right? I said, well, actually, Tessie, the reason why you don't want to go for the IBA four or five, six, ten times, right? Because you don't want to be pushy. You can be urgent, but don't be pushy, right, guys? You can ask questions, don't make statements. So what happened is, guys, you don't want to push, push, and then push someone out the door, Arrow. You don't want to push, push, and push someone off the call, Frank. Right, guys. So I'm gonna give you some rule of thumbs, right, guys. Um, so every every presentation, recruiting presentation. Why? Because guys, there are some people that will sit down with people who are 65 years old. You know, uh, uh, some of you guys on this call started Primerica in your 40s, in your 50s, in your 60s. I've I've had 70 year olds on my call. I had a 70 year old Karen, a 72 year old who wrote 10,000 personal two months in a row in a wheelchair. You follow me? So guys, if I yes, yes, Daniel, yes, <laughs> yeah. Right. So don't judge. Guys, he got he got his license in six days because he got he got. Wow. OK, so Mary, Mary is 73. Right, guys. So, guys, don't judge. Who says Mary does not deserve an opportunity? Right. Who says that people are called? Because I believe you guys go to recruit everyone, guys. So write this down. I'm going to give you some mindset. Guys. I'm not rambling. Some of you guys might think you're rambling, but I encourage you guys to be a mature listener. And what is a, a, what's a mature listener? Don't think I'm trying to say you're mature listener, saying you're immature if you're not. Guys, listen to it, right? Don't get too sensitive, right? A mature listener is that you know how to pick the best, leave the rest. A mature listener understands that I can learn something from a five-year-old. I can learn someone from a, I can learn something from a 50-year-old. I can learn something from anyone, right? So I'm giving you the mindset, guys, before you go into the presentation, right, guys, of how you set yourself up, right? So every presentation, recruiting presentation, Go aim for the recruit, miss with the sale. I believe I teach my guys, right? You go for the IBA three times. You go for the life app three times, right, guys? And the person doesn't want to do it, then you go for referrals. You guys got it? So, guys, there's four things that you should get on every single presentation, Timothy. Every single presentation. Every single presentation, you should, you should get either a recruit Right, Travanisha, right? A second appointment. So that means a follow-up to sit back down and to do business, right? If you got to do an f &A or whatever the case might be, right? A recruit, a second appointment, referrals, right, guys? Or a sale. So guys, when you sit down with someone, guys, you should, either, you should get one of those four things. Because I'm putting some of the, you know, field trains on the spot as well, guys. 
Because guys, it's not just, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And not just, hey, you out here doing presentations for people and not getting any results. You should get a recruit, every single presentation, a recruit, a second appointment, referrals, or a sale. Now, sometimes, guys, you can get three of those, right? Because we've all put them on a chat. Have you ever sat down with some, right? And I know, I, I, I guess Ali's getting the hang of it, right? Ali sat down with someone you're recruiting, right, Ali? You'll do their policy and do their investments. But how is he be able to do that now, right? right, guys? Because he's getting more smoother, more professional, more direct, right? Believe in himself, right? They bought it across 100000 this month, right, brothers? Right? Come here, brothers, right? Right, guys. And guys, let's all be. And guys, if you're part of team, if you're a part of team intensity, your only focus, Daniel, your only focus, Ryan, is to. And everybody else part of team intensity, and you want to commit to being the biggest part to push your upline over a hundred thousand. I did that for years. Every milestone that Edward had, I made sure I was the biggest part of pushing him over that milestone. Why? Because one day you will get a turn. You will get a turn if you don't get out of turn and your team treats you how you treat your upline. I guarantee you. So right now, if you rule with your upline, you're arguing with your upline, you're not showing up, you're disrespectful, you're late to everything, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then you, well, yesterday at Top Golf with my team, right? I was talking to one of my top guys and he has a guy who can kill the business, recruit a bunch of people. And the guy always says, man, I don't know why my team's not committed. We're like, bro, you're not committed. You're not on training. Your camera's not on, right? You haven't done a recruit this month. You haven't done a sale this month, right, guys? So understand that, guys, that you want to be that person, right, guys? You want to be that servant leader, right? So that's how you, so, so <clears throat> that's kind of off topic, but so now when you get on to the appointment, right, guys? Guys, you got to check things that are very simple. Guys, now, I'm going with the basics today because, guys, I don't want you guys to overcomplicate Primerica. So, guys, when you get on a call, guys, you want to look the part. Right, guys? And look the best you can, right, guys? It wasn't always, you know, nice jackets, right, guys? I remember wearing the same thing over and over and over and over on Zoom. It's okay. But at least you can iron it. Because I used to spray cologne on myself at the house, Frank. I'm not leaving the house. <laughs> I used to spray cologne on myself so I can feel good. I can smell good so I can perform good. Now, write this down. You look good. You play good. You look good. You play good. You feel good. You look good, you play good, you're going to feel good. That, that's not a myth. Right, guys? Why do you think you see Britney every single day? I've never seen Britney off, ever. Never. I've never seen Britney slack, ever. Like, never. Like, not even, like, when she, was, when she was pregnant, when she went to the hospital, when she never. And some of you guys do your business from home, guys. You only got to be dressed from the waist up. Y'all don't know what's going on on a below the Zoom, and no, I'm not going to stand up. I'm not standing up, <laughs> right, guys? But y'all, yeah, I have no idea what's going on. But what does it matter? What y'all can see looks good. You guys follow me? Guys, pick a spot in your house that has a clear a clear wall or put something on your wall, guys. Guys, you can literally go buy a, a motivational poster from Walmart or a canvas for like $10 and put it behind you until you get trophies. Because somebody say, yeah, lady, anybody who get on a Zoom with you, see all these trophies, of course they'll join you. But guys, I didn't get all the tro trophies at one time. You guys follow me? Because I have, so Karen background, I think it's something with Christ or what have you, her background, flowers, et cetera, et cetera. Guys, look like something. Guys, pick somewhere clean. The background does matter. You guys follow me? I truly believe that. Watch this. And I'm giving you the basics because I'm, mean, you know what? I could get on here and do a very technical training, right, Brittany? But I want to go over the basic things, like being prepared, right, guys? Before Zoom, right, guys? So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Nicholas, um, if you can allow my iPad to be able to share, please. Um, I was going over yesterday with one of our agents because, guys, sometimes, guys, you got to humble yourself, guys, and be willing to be retrained. So some of you guys on this call are districts, divisions, regionals, but you're not performing as districts, divisions, region, right? Right, Yine? You're not performing at that level. Guys, even RVPs, guys, it's okay to be retrained because I truly, truly, truly believe, and this is my belief, an RVP minimum, min, I hate the word minimum, should be doing 20 by 20. Right, guys, at the absolute minimum. And the absolute worst is 10 by 10. Because 20 by 20, guys, you're maximizing the contract. For you guys who are not vice presidents yet, guys, when you become a vice president and do 20 by 20, you get a 20% bonus. So not only are they going to pay you 110%, not only do you override your people 40 and 60 and 80% sometimes, 
right guys? You also get a 20% bonus up after doing 20 by 20 on whatever you do. So guys, you do 100,000 in premium and the base of the vice president, you're gonna make about $45,000 right in cash, right? Right, um, Ali? Then they're gonna turn around on the eighth of the month and give you a $20,000 bonus on top of that. So guys, I truly believe in the base shop, you should maximize, right, Daniel, right? You should maximize how to do 20 by 20, 30 by 30 before you go vice president. So when you go vice president and be one of the first intensities of RVPs, you already know how to do it. You guys follow me? I'm giving you simple basic things today. I mean, so yeah, um, anyone who know where Nicholas is or Eric or Brendan, that they can allow my iPad to share. I wanna share the screen. We can go ahead and get started, right, guys? So simple things, guys. And guys, remember, it's people as good. It's, it's good to be reminded, not corrected, right, guys? I truly believe, guys. Before the Zoom call, guys, clean off the front of your camera. Make it super sharp and crispy. Make sure your lighting is good, right, guys? Have your chargers around, guys. Right now, if you see, if you see my table, everything right now is plugged in, right, guys? Because I how how unprofessional it would be. Guys, understand this. You're already getting on a call with people who don't know you. Imagine your camera turn off. Imagine your pencil not working. Imagine your 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 um your camera is blurry. Imagine you got a book in your nose. Like, come on, guys, it's something something simple, right, right, guys? Have water beside you. Be be prepared to receive the blessing, guys. Team intensely, right? You guys would not be following Lewis and Ale if they didn't dress nice every single day. Their hair is always cut. Some of y'all on this call, right? And Ali probably can vouch, right? Ali, who on your team came in in Primerica probably dressing regular and over time now they wear a certain, certain tie every day? Or not certain tie, but they dress like every day. So was it Daniel? Was it Ryan? Was it some of your Juan, right? So do you have an example of anybody who the environment changed them? I don't know about Ali. Can you unmute? Can you unmute or no? I can't. So... Y'all can't unmute. But he said everyone, right, guys? Why? Because people do what you do, not what you say. You got to look, especially if you're younger on the call. Guys, if, you're, if, you're young, if you're young on the call, guys, you definitely got to dress the part. You got to look like somebody. So I'm still waiting for my iPad to be able to be shared. <laughs> but guys, watch this. I truly believe the best app to use for our business, as far as a whiteboard is concerned, so Brendan, I don't know if Brendan can help me or anybody. If I, was, I believe there's an app called Notability, Notability. It's 10 bucks for the year. You should download Notability. All right, guys? So before the app, guys, put a one in chat if you ever get on a call and you go to share your screen and it pulls up the last person you talk to information. Guys, that's not professional, right, guys? Or you go on a, or put a one in chat if you pull up your your presentation and you about to talk to someone new and it's showing the um the money page that you left it off on from the last person you talked to. Not a person like, damn, I gotta pay money to start this. You guys follow me? So one of the things I do, Frank, is that I make sure I'm on a white, a clean board on notability. So imagine if, if back in the old day, you erase your, so some of y'all who are teachers, before every day, every class come in, don't you erase your board, make sure it's a clean board, right? All right, guys, so uh, it's still not being sure, right? Also, too, you you open your PowerPoint, right? You, you open your PowerPoint or, or your or your keynote and you press the, the first button so it starts on the first page. Be ready. Always check your tabs. Guys, newsflash and fill in the blank. Your, make sure you have devices that you only use for business. Guys, I have some people get embarrassed by coming on a Zoom and they have tabs open from last night. Fill in the blank. Okay, guys? Make sure your stuff is clean, please. Because I've had teammates come and tell me, yeah, I was with John, John Doe, and he, he had a good night. I feel like that, right, guys? Clean. I think your iPad and tab, right, Travis? For real, for real. True story. So make sure, I will make sure, I recommend your iPad is just for business. Get another one. If you want, uh, if you want uh, Dream Chasers, you can win a damn iPad damn every month. Can someone call Nicholas, please? Because I'm trying to share my screen. They won't let me share. Please. 
So guys, so those are some of the the the, the fun facts, guys. The, the the fundamentals, right, guys. The fundamentals to have in your business. Guys, if you're brand new on a call, guys, remember, people can only see what's on the screen, guys. Listen, if you need to overcome some objections, I had one of my teammates, he literally, his computer, Ali, he has sticky notes all over his screen of every overcoming objection. Right, guys? Put it on your screen, guys, because you're sitting to someone and someone says, I don't got the money. He got a sticky note right here. He can just read off of the overcome objection, guys. Whatever you got to do to get good, do it. Guys, in business, you're going to go through three phases. Right, write this down, guys. Write, write it down. You're going to go through three phases in business. First, you're going to go through the awkward stage. So number one, you're going to go through an awkward um, stage. So I don't know if, if um, someone can walk into the RVP meeting and ask Eric if he can give you a sign-in so he can give me the controls. Number one, you go through the awkward phase. Guys, you're going to come into Primera, guys, and you're going to be awkward. You're going to be fumbling, stuttering, sweating. It's okay. All right, guys? The second phase, number two, is you're going to go through... No, uh, Lewis is still there. Uh, number two, you're going to go through the mechanical phase. All right, guys? You're going to go through the mechanical phase. You're going to sound like your upline. Daniel, Ryan, Bryce, Juan, you should have sound like Lewis and Ale. You know why? They make more money than you. You should sound like them. Right. So first is awkward. Second, mechanical. Then third is natural. Thank you. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you guys for being a team player. Right, guys. You're going to go through natural. The problem is that people come into Primerica, guys, and you want to jump right to natural. You want to put your own twist on it, guys. That is not going to happen. None of us can be here natural. Some of y'all come in here. You know, you know how to talk to people. You're friendly. You're sweet. But guys, listen, guys. Sweet and being friendly and good looking, good smile is not gonna make you a million dollars. Skills will. Right? Did anybody get better so far? Because some of y'all is coming, oh my God, he's rambling. No, no, I'm not. I'm giving you the fundamentals of the mindset you need to have before you do so you can do our business effectively, guys. Primerica is not just whoever, whoever does the most presentation wins. You know why? If you go to the gym and you're lifting weights wrong, will you get results? Right. If you don't increase your weight over time, change up your weight over time. Will you get results? Will you get up the body you want? No. So what, what happens when you go to the gym, you got to learn how to lift and not rock when you're lifting. Right. You got to learn how to have the, the muscle mind connection. You got to learn how to lift a little bit slower. All right, guys, because you'll hurt yourself. Team Primerica, right, guys, you will hurt yourself because you're not making any money. You will hurt yourself because now we're not going to have you go train people, right, Ray, if you don't know what you're doing. So, guys, so I'm going to go through, right, guys, how I go through a presentation, guys, right? And I want you guys to take notes on some of the things that I do, right, guys, because Primerica is very, 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 very easy. And, guys, listen, everybody in Primerica can win here. And everybody in Primerica, I, I think it's pretty much legacy, we use the same presentation, right, guys? But listen to your upline, right, guys? Um, but we all have a little bit of a twist on it, right, guys? But it's still the same presentation. It's the same shit of music. Legacy, for sure, guys, we're definitely a, a, um, an army, not an angry mob. We're definitely one sheet of paper. We all talk the same, dress the same. I, I went to Tampa. I said, well, Edward got a, a plaid jacket. I'm going to get a plaid jacket, too. I literally said that in the morning. I was like, let me, let me get it. This is, this is so Edward. I'm not going to pull my pants up above my ankles, though. I'm not doing that. Edward, you can keep that. Ryan, you can keep that. I'm not doing, I'm not showing my ankles, brother. Brittany, we're not raised like that, right? right Brittany, we're not raised like that. That's not our thing. But anyway, everything else, I'm good, right, guys? Not being funny. But guys, you guys, you might say, well, Layton, that's so funny. Some of y'all say, well, you dress like uh, Edward. Edward made more money than me. He got more cars than me, better house than me. Like, you got to copy the right cat. Some of you guys have too much ego, guys, and you don't want to copy your upline. Guys, I have a new guy on my team named Carl. Right, guys? He's at uh, eight recruits and 3,000 already, guys. He's 19 years old. I'm super excited for him. All right, guys? He made no excuses. All right, guys? Um, <clears throat> and he said, bro, what he said? He said, bro, I want to sound just like you. I said, bro, just keep showing up, bro. You sound just like me. I said, bro, you're 19 years old, right, guys? And I'm where I'm at, you know, um, nine years later. You can be where I'm at, right, guys, in one or two years later. Because I went through all the mistakes, if you listen to 100%. And guys, Claire, right? Claire, if you want to win at Primerica, just go back to your upline, be willing to be retrained and do what your upline asks you to do the first time, 100%. And one thing I'm going to add to this, guys, because I was talking to one of my agents yesterday, 
who I really believe they can be very well. Some of you guys in Primerica to win here, the full timers, even the part timers, you have to learn how to say this word. You gotta learn how to say this word. Some of you guys, what happens when you start Primerica, especially the full timers, you have to know what's the difference between things that are urgent and important. What's urgent and what's important. There's a big difference. You guys follow me? So what happened is put a one in the chat if you start Primerica or you want to go full time right? or you're full time in Primerica and now your family, Daniel, is calling you, asking you to do, asking you to do everything. Hey, can you pick up this? Hey, can you get that? Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you pick up this fish? Can you do this? And, and now you feel, oh, I have time now. Let me go do it. No. I encourage you that if you're part, if you're full-time Primerica, you just went from nine to five to nine to nine. Sorry. So why are you going from nine to five to nine to nine? Primerica allows you to collapse time frame. See, this nine to nine, this game plan of the nine to five that the world give you, Ryan, this is a recruiting tool. They say, hey, you work 40 years, and you're going to get 10 years of freedom. That's so ugly, right? 10 years of freedom. The nine to nine, you work three to five years. Guys, write this down. Guys. I'm showing you how to recruit everybody for 40 years of freedom. <clears throat> what do you want, guys? You want choice A or choice B? What do you want? Guys, put a one in chat. You want choice A or choice B? So what happened is, guys, Primerica allowed a collapse time frame. What does that mean, Frank? Most people right in Primerica, right, guys? So, Daniel, the reason why you're going to be successful in Primerica is one thing, one thing only. Primerica allow you, because you can get paid on your efforts, and you can get paid on work ethic, you're going to put 40 years of work of the regular person into three to five years. You guys follow me? See, at a job, you can only make so much. You can only make the hourly pay. 10 burgers, 100 burgers, you make the same thing. So, Primerica... Right, guys? See, even some of y'all going to your job right now, guys, you should be excited, right, guys? Because you got a way out. You're going from nine to five to nine to nine. You're going to work 14, 15 hour days. But eventually, you're going to be free for 14, 15 hour days. Anybody in? I don't know if you guys can still unmute. You can't unmute. All right, guys? Put a one in check if, if you're in, guys. Put a one in check if you're in. All right, that's the plan, right? So that's it. So if you, if Nicholas or or anyone can um, allow me to unmute somebody. I'm going to use uh, Brittany, if you don't mind. Did anybody get better with that, guys? Anybody got better with that? Put a one in chat if that, that, that little conversation. God, why is conversation so important, guys? You guys know conversation leads to compensation. Guys, understand this. Conversation, most people, everyone communicate, only a few connect. See, guys, you got to learn how to connect with people. You connect with people by having a conversation with them, being relatable to them, bringing some wisdom to them. I gave you guys, guys, some of the things I covered just now, guys, I'm thinking about it. I pulled those from like six or seven books. See, having a mentor is a cheat code. I just gave you six or seven books, probably 800, uh, 1,800 pages of knowledge in 30 minutes. Now, it doesn't mean, Juan, that you don't got to go read the same books I read. You still got to read them. Most people communicate, but a few connect. You guys follow me? Um, so guys, uh, Brittany, can you unmute? Or can anybody unmute yet? Brittany, can you unmute? If you guys can allow, um, okay. So I'm gonna ask her to unmute. Can you unmute? All right, I'm good, Layton. <laughs> I even know I was the host. So, guys, so I'm, I'm gonna go through the presentation with Brittany. Yes, it's 10:02, but watch this, guys. Watch this. I'm gonna go through the presentation with Brittany. So, Brittany, so there's four things. Watch this, guys. And before every call, guys, ask the person, "Hey, Brittany, can you see my screen?" Yes, I can. Brittany, if you um cannot see my screen or cannot hear my voice, let me know, okay? All 
right. Brittany, I'm going to need about 10 minutes of undivided attention. I'm going to talk to you about making 100000 a year, okay? Okay, sounds good. So, Brittany, right, so I said, so anyone that gets started in our business, right? So, Brittany, there's, there's three things that can happen here today. Number one, you might think of some people who need to hear this. You might see something you need for your family. Or number three, you might want to get involved. You might want to get involved because people that work with me make twenty uh, make anywhere from four thousand a month part time, right? Or can make eight thousand a month plus full time. And Brittany, you can start everything from home. Okay. Sounds good. So, so Brittany, I'm gonna give you some credibility about our business, right? Some background. Primerica is the largest independent financial marketing company in North America. We have 130,000 licensed agents all over the country. We are listed on the New York Stock Exchange on the PRI. We've been around since 1977, so we're like 45 years old. We're time-tested. We was named one of America's 50 most trustworthy companies by Forbes. And Brittany, we had the most six-figure and seven-figure earners in the country. We have more people that work with Primerica that make 100000 a year and a million dollars a year more than any other company in the country. Do you follow me so far, Brittany? Oh, yeah, wow. Cool. Doesn't that make sense that if you want to make some more money, you should work with a company that has the highest paid people, correct? It does, yes. And Brittany, we achieve all this without any national TV or radio advertising, right? <laughs> Everything is word of mouth. You follow me, Brittany? Sounds good. Any questions, any concerns? Am I going too fast? Nope, not yet. I'm following. Perfect. So Brittany, so I want to go over, right? So we're a financial company, right? So these financial companies, they work with us. We don't work with them. They knock on our doors for us to market their products, right? You've probably seen some of these companies on, on billboards, TV, right? Side of trucks, right? So we help people with their investments, their 401k plans through AXA, Voya, their annuities through Lincoln, AXA, AIG, their mutual funds through Invesco. So these are the biggest investment companies in the country. So Brittany, how do you get paid? You sit down with someone, you open a retirement account, you get paid. You open an educational account, you get paid. You open a business account, you get paid. Brittany, anytime you move money for someone, you make income. Isn't that pretty straightforward, pretty simple? Yeah, sounds good. We help people with legal protection, lawyers, wills, trust funds, auto and home insurance, senior health care, mortgages, and life insurance. So, Brittany, we have about eight different ways to make income in our business. Would you agree it's better to make income eight different ways over one way from a job? Would you agree with that? I would definitely agree, yeah. Perfect. And, Brittany, you mentioned earlier, in this case, Brittany's single, right? In this case, Brittany, you mentioned earlier you're single with four <laughs> kids, right? Yep. Right? So, Brittany, do you have personal life insurance outside of work? Um, outside of work, no. Okay, perfect. You have any questions, any concerns? No, not yet. I'm following. Perfect, right? So our business is this, right? So Brittany, so what we do for people, we build them a financial house. You ever had someone build you a financial house before? I never have, no. Perfect. So a financial house, the foundation is having the right kind of life insurance. If you have four beautiful kids, anything happens to you, wouldn't you want to leave money behind for them? Yeah. We help people with their budgeting, their emergency fund, their will, paying off their debt, retirement, college savings, goals and dreams. Would you agree this financial house is pretty important? It is, yeah. Would you agree that everybody needs to hear about this? I would. So this is the financial house that we draw for people. Isn't that pretty simple, pretty straightforward? Yeah, it sounds good. So I want to ask you a question, right? How would you rate your desire to have the right kind of protection, be debt-free and financially independent? From one to 10, Brittany, how badly would you want to be financially free? Um, uh, 10 for sure. 10 okay. plus for sure. Brittany, would you agree that so far this is pretty easy, pretty black and white? Yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. So I'm going to show you now how we help people side by side, and I'm going to show you how we get paid, okay? Cool. So this is a client before Primerica, a client after Primerica. So before Brittany, after Brittany. So over here, this couple had 100000 in life insurance. They was paying $200 a month. Isn't that pretty expensive, Brittany? Yeah, it definitely is. We gave them $500,000, a half a million, for $80 a month, and we cover their kids under 18 for free. You follow me? Yeah, wow. So, Brittany, I want to ask you a question, right? You're a mom, right? A hardworking mom. Anything happens to you, would you want to leave behind a half a million dollars for your family or 100000 for your family? A half a million. And what's more affordable? $80 per month, 20 bucks a week? or $200 a month? $80 a month for sure. Do you see how we help them, Brittany? I do. Perfect. Would you agree that people try to save some money? Yes. Right? So they save the money at the bank, which banks are not your friends, Brittany. This couple had 20,000 in the bank. At age 65, they had $79,000. Can you imagine working your whole life and all you got is 79,000? Can you imagine that, Brittany? Wow, yeah. That's no money, right? It's not, no. So we took the money out of the bank at 6%. They got 372000 At 9%, they got 755000 
So, Brittany, which one is better, the A side or the B side? B, for sure. Perfect, right? So, Brittany, we get paid, right? You would get paid to move client from the A side to the B side. Isn't that pretty simple, easy, straightforward? Yeah, sounds good, actually. And Brittany, the bright side about this, listen, I'm going to do all the talking for you, your schedule, people you already know, and you can do it from your house. Isn't that pretty simple? It is, yes. Perfect. Now I'm going to go over the money part, right? Because I see your face, you're like, hey, get to the money part, right? <laughs> get to the money part. So Brittany, you can start here five to eight hours a week. Would you agree five to eight hours a week is pretty doable? Yeah, it's pretty flexible, actually. So let's say you have four clients a month, one person a week, Brittany, one, with life insurance, investments, debt watcher, auto, a home. Brittany, look, you make an extra $3,700 a month. How much different would your life be with an extra $3,700 a month? It'd be very different, actually. See, Brittany, I want to teach you a high income skill. $3,700 divided by four clients, that means you'll make about $900 a person. If you can make $900 for every person you talk to, how many people do you want to talk to? All of them. All of A lot, right? <laughs> do a half of the work, that's $2,000 a month. So, Brittany, if you can earn an extra $20,000 to $40,000 a year without jeopardizing your job or school, would that interest you, Brittany? It definitely would. Again, I'm going to do all the talking, your schedule, people you already know. You do it part-time. Keep your job, start part-time, okay? Okay, sounds good. Sure. But let's say if you want to go full-time, right? Be a region vice president, be a broker. The average broker in our company make 135000 a year, okay? So let's say at first you're by yourself. You have the same four clients with life insurance, investments, that watch your auto and home. Brittany, that's $7,700. That's almost $8,000 a month. That's like 2000 bucks a week. How much different will your life be with $2,000 a week, Brittany? It'd be very different. <laughs> very different right? But Brittany, you start up, you have a business, right? Do you want to do all the work yourself or do you want some help? Um, I would definitely want help. Perfect. So if you get some help, right, I'm going to show you how to hire some people. I'm going to help you. They're going to go help 10 clients a month. The company going to pay you $6,600 a month to train them. Brittany, right now at your job or your previous job, do you get paid extra money to train people? I do not. You do not, right? And you should get paid for your time, right? Yes, I should. Right? Plus, you're going to make $2,800 a month in bonuses. Look, that's $17,000 a month. Brittany, how much different would your life be with $17,000 a month? Drastically different. <laughs> Since you spend more time with your kids, do more for them, right? Have more free time, right? Yes. Now, Brittany, this is not tomorrow. It's not get rich quick. But I can show you how to get here in 12 or 24 months. Does your job right now have a plan of you making $17,000 a month in the next 12 or 24 months? No, that's actually what I make a year almost. <laughs> so I definitely want to help you with that, right? Brittany, do you know what residual income is, what passive income is? I do, yes. You do. Awesome, right? So here, did you notice, right, because you hired some help, you got a team, you notice you're making about $9,000 a month from the business your team produces. Do you notice that? You see that? Wow, well, yeah. So imagine you at the games, you at the bankers with your kids, you're having fun in movies, and you're making income whether you work or not. Isn't life a little bit better for you? A lot better. Perfect. And again, Brittany, I'll teach you all this. Your schedule, people you already know from the house, part-time, okay? Cool. So I want to talk about getting started, right? Getting started in our business, right? Have you ever heard the phrase, you got to spend money to make money? I have, yes. Right? So in our business, right, number one, you're going to get an insurance license at 635 bucks. You're going to get an investment license that's 750 bucks. Brittany, look, that's $1,300 to get started. Now, $1,300, Brittany, as an investment to make $3,700 part-time or $17,000 a month full-time, that's a pretty fair trade. Would you agree? It is. The problem is, Brittany, who has $1,300? I don't. A, that's, a <laughs> tax, that's a rent, their mortgage, a lot of money, right? It is. So, Brittany, look, we'll pay it for you as long as you believe in yourself. Brittany, would you say you believe in yourself, Brittany? I definitely do, yes. So if you believe in yourself with your credibility and my ability, we can make some money together, okay? Sounds good. Perfect, right? So your only investment is $99 for a background check and fingerprinting, $25 to run your business, right? So you can do a mobile, on the go, in the car, vacation, right? Brittany, look, your total investment, right, is $124 to get involved. 100 bucks. Would you agree it's way easier to find $100 over $1,300? Way easier, yeah. Right? Now, right now, Brittany, right, you're in luck, right? We haven't, well, Brittany, between now and Wednesday, wouldn't you agree that you will blow 100 bucks on something else? Oh, yeah, for sure. Wouldn't it make more sense to invest that into yourself, into your future? 
It does, yeah. Right? Well, right now, Brittany, look, we have an incentive right now, right? And you can get started with 74 bucks. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's 74 bucks, okay? $74 is way easier to find than 100 right? It is, yes, for sure. And it gets better. You go ahead and download our company app, right? And make a profile within 24 hours, you'll get a credit of $50. So look, that's really $24 to get involved, 24 bucks. Anyone that I train, Brittany, make 2,500 to 5,000 a month. So Brittany, I'm gonna show you how to turn $74 into 2,500 to 5,000. Pretty fair trade, right? A definitely a fair trade. And the best part about it, Brittany, look, you go through a paid training, a paid internship. You're gonna earn while you learn. You follow me? So our business, right? You want to you get paid to watch me build you a business. My job is to build you agents, build you clientele. Isn't that pretty simple? It's pretty simple. I like it actually. So do you see the seventy-four dollars that you invested? You get the money right back your first week. Yes. Brittany, we don't want your money, right? Me or Karen does not make any money from your seventy-four dollars. That goes straight to the state of Florida. That's for your fingerprint background check. That goes straight to the state, right? So Brittany, so what do you get with this? You get two state licenses on your resume. You can do it part-time. You can do it from home, keep your job, right? Start part-time, see where it goes. Any questions, any concerns? No, I'm ready to get started, actually. Perfect. So Brittany, so the worst case scenario, right? Um, pros and cons, you'll get a license. You'll learn about money, learn about business, right? The best case scenario, you'll start making 500 a week, 1,000 a week, 2,000 a week, 10 grand a month. Life is different, but you won't know unless you try, okay? Sounds good, yeah. So if I was to pay the $1,300 for you, will $74 be an issue for you, Brittany? It will not. Perfect. No. Awesome. So guys, um, let's, let's pause, right? So guys, that took how long, guys? My, my thing says nine minutes. Yeah, not long at all. All right, nine minutes. So nine minutes and 34 seconds to be exact, right, guys? Some of you guys on a presentation, guys, for 30 minutes. Guys, I encourage you guys, make your presentation shorter. But tonight one mellow, consistent, concise, right guys? No? Well, I don't know if it's gonna unmute. Y'all can't unmute, right? You can't, damn. Uh, how do you change that? How do you make everybody unmute? Well, I don't know how to do that. Okay, perfect. You have to go to the security. All right, All right so I did it. So guys, any feedback, any feedback, anybody good? Great job. Great job, Lake. Great job, Lake. Yeah. Guys, yeah. very consistent the questions, right, guys? So watch this. So this is the transition, right? So now it's nine minutes, 34 seconds. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, so Brittany, so there's two parts to our business. This is how, trans this is how we transition on Dream Chasers. There's two parts to our business. So I took 10 minutes and showed you the agent side, how to make money, right, Brittany? Mm -hmm. Right? So we also got a client side. We help people, you know, protect their family, et cetera, et cetera, right? So Brittany, you mentioned earlier, you don't have outside life insurance, correct? Just through my job, I'm covered through work. Perfect, right? So there's four reasons why people don't have outside life insurance. Number one, I think it's too expensive. Number two, never get around to doing it. Number three, they don't understand it. Or number four, some people, Brittany, believe it or not, tell me they don't care about their family. Now, I know that's not you, Brittany. So which one of the three is it? You think it's too expensive, you never get around to doing it, or you don't understand it? Which one is it for you? Um, I didn't know I needed it outside of work. Perfect, right? So would you mind if I educate you on why it's important to have it outside of work? Yeah. So Brittany, right? So right now, um, are you married to your job? No, not at all. So if a better opportunity comes, you'll take it, correct? Yes. If you leave your job, can you take your life insurance with you? I don't know, can I? <laughs> well, if you had Brittany's nail salon and I'm working there, and I quit, would you still cover me and give me benefits? Oh, yeah, I guess not. So if you leave your job, would they still get what what incentive they have to keep giving you benefits? I never thought about that. Right. Um, also, too, the policy at your job, right? Do you own it or your job owns it? Oh, um, my job owns it. So who do you think makes the rules for it, you or the job? The job. Do you want the future of your family to be in your hands or your job hands? In my hands. Who can take care of your family better, your job or yourself? Me. Do you see why now it's important for you to have your own outside life insurance? You see why it's not good to have all your eggs in one basket? I do, yeah. Perfect. So, Brittany, would you mind if I share my screen and go over some options to show you what you qualify for? Yeah, no, I would. I actually would like to take a look. Perfect, right? 
you guys see how my screen, my whiteboard is already ready, right? Remember, people spend two hours a day looking for stuff. So I'm going to put Brittany with Karen, right? So when I go back and I feel training Karen, right? I say, hey, Karen, right? Let, uh, we set with Brittany, right? I can go search it up. I have to look for it, right? So Brittany, right? So um, so life insurance, you got to qualify to get it, right? So I'm going to put uh, Brittany. And yes, Brittany, don't. I know we're brothers and sisters. I know it's two T's. Brittany, don't kill me, right? So Brittany, um, life insurance, you got to qualify to get it, right? So are you tobacco or non-tobacco? Non-tobacco. All right, non-tobacco, right? And Brittany, how young are you? I am 34 years young. 34 years now. You got four beautiful kids, correct? Yes, sir. So Brittany, I want to see what you can qualify for, right? Um, what's your budget? Brittany, are you comfortable with 60 to 80 a month, 80 to 100 a month, or 100 to 150 a month? What's, what's affordable for you, Brittany? Um, I would say between 80 and 100. 80 and 100, right? Perfect. See, our company, we make sure everything is customized, affordable to you, right? So Brittany, so I'm going to show you, um, you're 34 years young, right? I'm going to show you what 250000 is for you, right? With 25000 on each of your kids, right? I'm going to show you um, what 500000 is, right? With 25000 on each of your kids, right? And Brittany, I'm going to show you what a million is, right? Um, with 25000 on each of your kids, okay? Sounds good. So I'm going to go over the benefits of our policy, right? I'm going to go over the benefits. Our policy got about 15 different benefits, right? Number one, all the options I'm about to show you, they never change. Our policy never goes up. It stays level. You got 25000 on each of your kids. So between your kids, you got 100000 life insurance on them because you got four of them. If you have any more kids, you can add them for free. In the future, you have grandkids, you can add them for free until they're 18. Once they turn 18, they have to get their own policy. They can get five times the amount of coverage without no underwriting, no underwriting, no blood, no urine. So when they turn, your kids turn 25, uh, 18, they can get 125,000, no blood, no urine. How you feel about that? I like it. Our policy is available for you immediately. Some companies, you got to be alive two years. Our policy, right? You get a, you get a policy today, you pass away next week. Everything is truthful, right? You'll pay. You follow me? Um, our policy, right? If you become disabled, we pay it for you. You have a terminal illness, we'll give you 40% of your coverage, right? So let's say, for example, right, you get 500,000 and you become disabled, right? Oh, I'm sorry, you become terminally ill. You can take out $200,000, take it out of your policy, not borrow it, take it out of your policy, and you can use it for final expenses, traveling, set the house up, et cetera, et cetera. How you feel about that, Brittany? I like it. Right. Our, our policy covers any way you pass away. There are some policies that only cover accidents, cancer. Our policy covers accidents, cancer, hit and run, murder. Any way you pass away, you just cannot commit suicide the first two years, okay? Cool. Our policy has no war exclusion. So if you get killed caught by war, terror, anything like that, you know, um, you're covered as well, okay? Sounds good. Every, our policy also keeps up with inflation. Every year, we're going to offer you 10% more coverage without going through underwriting, and you can take it as an option. You don't have to take it, but you can, okay? Okay. So, Brittany, right? A quarter million dollars for your family, right? There's 68 bucks a month, right? A um, half a million dollars, right, is uh, $81 a month, right? And if you want to... Um, for a million, right? A million actually is 109 a month. So Brittany, you thought it was gonna be way more expensive than this, right? I really did, yes. <laughs> so Brittany, right? A lot of times um, people, would you agree that people spend money on a daily basis, whether it's coffee, food, gas, right? Yeah, for sure. Right? So Brittany, what if I told you, right? You can leave behind a quarter million dollars for your family for 68 bucks a month or $2.26 a day. Brittany, wow. you can leave behind a half a million dollars for your family, right, for 81 bucks a month or two seventy dollars a day. Brittany, you can leave, a lot, leave behind a million dollars, right, for your family for uh, $109 a month, about 25 bucks roughly, right? Or it can be three sixty-three dollars a day. So Brittany, out of these three options, which one do you want? 
Mm, I want the million. The million, right? Now, Brittany, well, I want to respect your budget because you said 80 to 100. That's about nine bucks over. Our company, we actually work with people. So we allow you to start small and raise it up later. So if you want to start in the middle, you can, right? If you want to start at lowest one, you can. You can raise it up later. But if you know you can handle the 109, do it. But I want to make sure it's something affordable, comfortable, you're good, okay? Yeah. I think with four kids, I need a million. So I'll make it work for sure. Awesome, right? So 25 bucks a week is not too much for you, correct? No, no, I can do that. Perfect. So Brittany, right, in your words, not mine, your words, not mine, um, why do you want life insurance for your family? Um, wealth has never been in my family. We've been in the cycle of passing down debt and, you know, GoFundMes, and I have to make sure that I break that curse. So this is going to allow me to do that. Perfect. And Brittany, why is that important to you? because my kids deserve that. I can't leave them behind to struggle and, you know, try to figure it out for themselves. As a parent, I am responsible for them. So I have to make sure they are taken care of whether I'm here or not. Perfect, right? So you wouldn't want your kids to go through a GoFundMe or chicken dinners and fish fries, right? Not at all. Perfect. No embarrassment. Awesome, right? So Brittany, let's go over the total, right? Let's go over the total. So the total, let's say B-I-Z is the business. I-N-S stands for insurance, right? So the business, right, is a uh, one time 74 bucks. Your insurance is 109. Let's call this, Brittany, the legacy plan for your family, right? Because Brittany, right now you don't have a million dollars, but you do have 109 a month, right? I do. Right? Um, so let's do this, right? So the business, right, 74 bucks, right? This is that extra $4,000 a month part-time so you can do what you want with your family, okay? Yes. I'm not really the best at math, right? So 13, right? 8, right? 183. So, Brittany, what, what would you say interests you the most? Making extra money with us part time? Leaving money behind for your family or both? Both. Perfect. Now, Brittany, will 183 be an issue for you today? Um, no. No, I can do both. Perfect. So you'll be uh, Karen's first teammate, right? First client. So we can, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, right? I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, get you started. Right? Go ahead and share my screen, get you started, right? We're going to do your application first as an agent, and then we'll put your insurance in place, okay? That sounds good. I'm ready. Perfect. Guys, any questions, guys, any concerns? Uh, I'm, so... Well, Brittany, you're a vice president, a ring wearing vice president, right? You know, the actually, guys, the guys you guys don't know, right? Brittany is Miss No Excuses. Brittany started Primerica, I believe was pregnant or got pregnant shortly after, did our business, right? Made $100,000 her first year in our business while being pregnant, while giving birth, right? No excuses, right? <laughs> Originally started in New York and now she's in Orlando, doesn't go to our office every single day, made $100,000 with the baby, three other kids. Some of y'all have no kids, no babies. Some of you guys are men and you guys are not doing it, right? So there's no excuses, right? And 100 grand her first year. Broke the record um, of the base shop record and also went vice president, right, Juan? Right, Daniel, watch this. She went out vice president. She did $94,000 in premium in the base shop. $94,000 premium in the base shop. And some of y'all, oh, 10 by 10 vice president. Stop it. <laughs> right? So go ahead. Thank Mitchell. you. You're a vice president, Brittany. So anything that you learned from this, Brittany? I did. Well, I always um, pick up on things that I need to remember to do. I love that you can constantly ask questions because questions are going to allow people to close themselves. So um, I always love the breakdown of, you know, how much they're spending about per day just so that it breaks down and it factors in. Um and those questions, those questions are imperative that we ask them because when you don't ask questions and you're just talking, 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 and you're not allowing the person to close themselves, like you say, it makes the, it makes closing the call harder. So. For sure. For sure. Awesome. Thank you, Brittany. Guys, that's a ring ring RVP. I already make a hundred thousand on her own and got something. And I'm going to now ask some people on this call who are district leaders. Yeah, man, I didn't get anything, bro. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Guys, broke people say, I know. Rich people always learn and grow. Okay? Frank, what'd you get, Frank? 
have an absolute page full of notes, the transition questions, the transition statements, and there has to constantly be their buy-in. If they're just, like you said, if they're just listening to it, they're just becoming numb. But at every interval, you're asking them to validate what you say. And they're personally validating everything that you say. So it's oh, a no brainer come to the end. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Frank. Arrow, what'd you get, Arrow? Yeah, well, um, first of all, it, it showed that you concern not only about making the sale, but you're concerned in knowing where the person had and how you can reach them, where they're at, and um, have them benefit for the service based on the question you ask them. It seems like you truly care and you want to do um, a superior job, in other words. Awesome. Beautiful, Errol. Um, Karen, what'd you get, Karen? The one thing I like is when you're on the strategic partners page, you ask them, do you have personal insurance outside of work instead of waiting all the way to the end? Right. Um, you also had um, when we did the financial house, has anyone ever, anyone else ever helped you build a financial house? You know, and that's always going to be a no. So we're going to be standing out, you know, above the rest in that and um, asking, you know, is this financial house pretty important? You know, and do you think everybody needs to hear it? Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Timothy, what'd you get? I'm only calling people who got their cameras on. Well, um, listen to what you're saying so that you are on the same page as they are. And just, again, ask the questions pertaining to that and get them the small closes lead to the big close. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Ray Tromba, what'd you get, brother? I think the power in what you do is is the conversation. So you're having a conversation. It's not like you in that sense working each shot individually. It's a flowing conversation. So at the end of the day, it shows a level of confidence and experience that comes across that I think is very powerful. Thank you. That was, that was beautiful, Dre. God damn. <laughs> All right, uh, Daniel. Is it Daniel? I feel like I'm saying your name wrong, bro. Say your name. Say your name. How you say it? It's Daniel, bro. Huh? Daniel. Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Yeah. I'll make sure yeah, I say Daniel. Go ahead, Daniel. Daniel, yeah. So I love how you, like, um, after, like, every statement you made, you know, you're always ask, asking questions. And once you showed her, like, the, the options for the for the life insurance, you know, how you, like, I'm sure, you know, there's, there's a little bit over your budget. Could you, like, you know, could you actually do this? You know, this would be something that you're uh, able to, able to pay. And, you know, that's, I think that's very important, you know, because maybe she can't afford it and she's, you know, just getting it for the, you know, like for in, impulsive. I don't know how to, like, actually say Impulsive it. decision, impulsive decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I like how, you know, you made sure that she could actually afford that, you know? Beautiful. Juan, what'd you get, Juan? Um, so what I get is that you always want to like um, ask questions, um, be a good listener, and and I also um, learn to either get a recruit um, or get a sale or, or get referrals. Perfect, guys. I started this at ten o two, and I was done at ten twenty three. And guys, I did a recruiting presentation transition. I probably asked, if someone had a tally, I probably said I probably asked 20 plus questions, right guys? And then the last 15 minutes, 20 minutes is gonna be closing. But my presenting time with Building Rapport, with conversation was 20 minutes. And I, you guys know I talk fast, my voice is deep, and I still, I was slow, I, well, I, I think I was slow. <laughs> I think I was talking slow. I was talking slow, precise, et cetera, et cetera. Miss Elbert, Elbert, I'm so sorry, Elbert. What'd you get? Don't be shy. Come on. The money's behind the mic. Your camera's on. I appreciate it. Your camera's on every day. Miss Albert, what'd you get? I guess she's shy, shy. Uh, Sasha, what'd you get? <laughs> so when you were um, finishing up, after you did Bernie's clothes uh, for the insurance, you were finishing up, you asked her, in your words, not mine, why do you want life insurance? And then you, after she gave you her explanation, you like drove it home again by saying, well, why is that important to you? And I like that. Beautiful. I'll repeat, the least the beast. What'd you get? 
Um, I think the biggest thing or takeaway for me was the fact that you didn't spend a lot of time with fluff, right? You kind of got to the point, your presentation is very efficient. I think a lot of times people lose the client because they're doing a 45 minute presentation and it's and it's boring. <laughs> I love the I, I, I have a question about that coach. Go ahead, brother. No, um, you take nine minutes and 35 seconds for your presentation. Bear in mind that you're, you're, you're presenting to Brittany, but you're not presenting to Brittany on most slides because of uh, the, the, the situation where every slide people keep asking questions and what is on it. Well, how do you, how do you sort of condense that? So um, mine was kind of like a, a, a nine minutes is pretty quick unless you, unless you talk to Edward. Edward's like three minutes. But I think the presenting time is 10 to 15 minutes, you know, 10 to 13 minutes max. Like you shouldn't be going like 20 minutes presenting. Um, but George, if you're having a conversation and if you're precise with the verbiage, people really don't have a lot of questions. People only ask questions when they want more information. Because remember guys, it's your presentation, not theirs. You're in control, not them. You follow me? So George, it gets better with perfect practice, not practice made perfect, perfect practice made perfect, right? So it's cutting out the extra, like Dali says, the extra fluff and let's get right to the point. People like things who are straightforward. People like things who are simple. That's why Apple and Amazon make so much money because simple, straightforward. So George, I'll work with you one-on-one, -on -one, George. Stop by the office today and we'll get you better and better and better and better. Uh, I'll repeat Lewis, what'd you get? Yeah, brother, great training. Um, one of the things I always, always love and when I got the most from this is when you show their quotes, you always break it down on a daily basis, even like to the sense of how much it costs. Um, I feel like that's really, really good. I'm going to start doing that more. Perfect. Perfect. Isaiah? If you have work, it's fine. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Um, some of what Karen was saying, I like the, how you go right into that. Um, the financial house, you know, usually in the, in the normal presentation is at the end, you kind of bring it right in the beginning. I've seen, I said, wow. You know, yeah. in, the, in the very um, beginning, you all said, you know, most people communicate, but a few, you know, um, connect. most people communicate, but a few connect, yeah. you know, and I thought that was uh, very powerful when you were, you know, when you were talking um, before you started the presentation. S SVP, my uppy, Edouard, what'd you get? <laughs> <laughs> too sorry i had to connect the wi-fi because uh, everything i um i like i'm gonna start adding my ruling 12 to your, to my presentation you know <laughs> that was good and uh, i love how uh, you talked about the bonuses as well i thought that was very good and then when you do the three quotes um the fact that you tell them like hey um this is going to cover you like this is like good this is best and this is like legacy money. You know, I, I really like that. I love how you always give that high uh, million dollar quote, you know, and I've noticed that you always do, you know, you do a million or a big, big policy third option. And um, cause there's people out there that want to make their family millionaires, right? If they pass away. So I noticed like your third quote is always like a large amount, you know, and you mm -hmm. tell them like good, better, best, you know, I love what you say like, this is your legacy plan. So I think that's awesome. Those are my two takeaways from that. And guys, the reason why I ask people who are districts all the way to senior vice president, guys, because I want you guys to see that everyone can learn. Guys, right now, if, um, you know, if Isaiah do a presentation, I guarantee you, Edward, myself, will have a page of notes. He, he's new. He's new word, I'm sorry. But we can still learn something. So, guys, I, re I really don't like going over, but it's 1036. I hope everybody got better today. We're going to post this in the group chat. Again, guys, use the presentation your upline actually use. There's no junior RVPs. Every system works. Just get in front of more people. Guys, three presentations keep poverty away, right? Five presentations, you're a top 10%. Five presentations a day, you're a top 10% of the company. But guys, skills pay the bills. What I would do, what I did, and what I still continue to do, even to this day, is that, guys, I will um, download this, and I will turn the music off turn music off and listen to this over and over and over in the car to get better and better and better. And then at night, for some of you guys who have children, for some of you guys who don't have children, there's no excuse to not be great at Primerica because you have all the time. But after you put your kids to bed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that last 
that last, you know, hour or two, guys, I will play this audio or play, I mean, not as my, but, but play an audio of closing, getting better, take notes, get better. So you get better every single day. You get 1% better every single day. Every 100 days, you're getting 100% better. You just follow me? So that's, that's it, guys. I'm proud to be your teammate, guys. Proud to be your coach. If I don't see you guys before Christmas, have a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy time with family. Take pictures. And, and, enjoy, and enjoy it because one day every one day you take this serious, every single day will be Christmas to your family, guys. I love you guys. See you guys later, okay? Christmas. Good job. Thank you. 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 Thank you.